Hey guys, I am Jessica Ray Plays and I do a monthly shell challenge on my channel, but this time I thought it would be fun to go ahead and do somebody else's shell challenge. So I actually have a subscriber by the name of Marin Stone who has a December shell challenge and as soon as I seen it, I thought, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I'm going to do to it. So today I'm going to be showing you exactly what I did to her shell challenge instead of my very own, which is a surprising and fun twist to this. So let me show you guys her shell challenge so that you guys can look at it and just be in awe because seriously, it is so amazing. And let me open your mind to all the possibilities that literally could happen to the shell. So obviously this is her shell challenge that she did. It's got a Christmas tree, it's got a snowman, it's even got a circle on top of it. I mean, oh my gosh, it's just so freaking amazing. I'll make sure that I leave her channel down there in the comment section or like in the description box if you wanna go give her a follow. Oh my gosh, guys, this was just so much fun. I knew exactly what I was going to do to it, obviously. I knew I was just going to go in and have so much decorations on this tree. Literally make it a Christmas tree, make it ornaments, do all the whole shebang to this thing. Because even though Christmas for you guys is over, I was like, it's not over for me. So I'm definitely going to decorate this thing up and make it cute. So that's what I did. The first thing that I obviously did was make the tree. And then I went into the snowman and I had so much fun making him putting the coal eyes and the little buttons and I even gave him a smiley face and I'm obviously looking for a carrot to put in his nose because you know he's gotta have a carrot so I used a cushion which actually turned out to be really stinking cute and I was thinking oh my gosh his arms what am I going to use for this so I found those little twigs that are from Solani the ones that are like falling down like you know what? this is perfect maybe he's a tropical snowman <laughs> So I did do that and I actually go in and I gave him a hat which was really really fun to do and obviously it is a half wall and half walls are allowed in shell challenges so I wasn't breaking any rules by making a half wall there and I wanted to go ahead and make this a sun. That was my goal was to make the circle a sun because I am Jessica Ray plays and obviously we're the sunshine squad so that's what I wanted to do but instead I put down a carpet and I cheated because it looks like a sun and it looks totally, totally cool. I did try to blomp it up because I was actually going to make like a layout of a sun using half walls, but that didn't work out too well. So a rug it is. And as you can see right now, I am going through decorating this Christmas tree, definitely giving it some really cute ornaments and I gave it all the colors because if you're like me, I like a lot of colors on the Christmas tree and definitely like it look cute, but obviously they were lacking that texture. So here in a minute, I kind of go in and give you all a little surprise, but I did think that it needed some garland. So I was trying to find some garland to put on it. And we have this beautiful rug right there that looks like a star. So I thought that was really perfect for this one. And now I am gonna go in and I start putting in the texture on the balls, which makes it look really, really authentic and really cute so I did go ahead and I put in some uh, presents at the bottom because obviously it can't be Christmas without presents no I'm just kidding it's just there for decorative purposes and then I did go ahead and give the tree a nice pretty little skirt on him and then I went over to the snowman and I gave him this gorgeous orange scarf and it took a little bit of time to kind of like figure out what to do with it but I think it looks really really cute and now finally we are obviously heading inside and then as for the inside I thought you know what everybody's probably gonna do like a traditional house have like everything, you know, like laid out, kind of do some kind of like floor plan or it's like in your normal place. But I actually want to do something a little bit different. So <laughs> I'm a little bit different. So I had to go ahead and do that. But the first thing I wanted to do was go ahead and I wanted to put a Christmas tree up on this platform that I'm going to show you here in a minute. And it don't worry, it does go away. But I did put up windows in the house. I put them up where the presents are because I thought, you know what? Nobody's going to see those there because the presents are covering them up perfectly so there's no shame in that game but as for everything else I was like let's all go crazy let's do this thing let's get this thing going let's get it cutesy let's get it together and it was just a lot of fun I had a lot of fun doing this it was just super super creativity level it was like through the roof on this one because obviously I wanted to do something totally different compared to what everybody else is probably going to do and I think this one is actually due the 31st so the time that you guys see this you have a little bit of time so it is on her gallery Marion Stone so definitely if you want to go ahead and do this do her shell you can super fun I'm telling you it was just so much fun to do something not strict to the floor plan or strict to a house I literally had so much fun doing this 
oh my gosh it was just such a ball to be able to sit down and just not stress over how perfect it has to be it definitely can be like a just something totally different and something that you're not even used to doing which obviously this is very much is so the first thing that I actually kind of like wanted to go and do was make that top section probably like the studio or like the Santa Claus hangout area make it like his home away from home area where he's you know kind of like in charge of the place so he's got like a whole bathroom in there he even later on he'll get a fireplace he'll get like all kinds of beautiful stuff going on like a cushion and a book place and all this other stuff and then the other parts and I know I'm getting ahead of myself but I'm just too excited about this so the other part of the place is like their workshop or their toy workshop is kind of like what I figured it is it's not like the actual like North Pole which is a place where they People send toys and they get their toys repaired, so I definitely kind of like wanted to go with that theme. And I do put a whole size kitchen in here as well, and I put in a living room, a little bit of a living room as well in this house. And then the rest of it is the workshop, and it has like four woodworking benches, I think. And then it's just super, super cute because I did put some like toys on it, and I put some toys on the wall. Maybe those are like the ones they fixed. At least that's my story, and that's my shebang. That's kind of like what I'm going with personally, so. I feel like it's a good story to go with <laughs> and I definitely take it up a notch and I kick this place into overdrive and I put so much decorations on here it's ridiculous oh my goodness there's snowflakes on a wall there's garland like, as soon as you walk in there's wreaths there's p photos there's a big Christmas tree obviously and snowman and a rug and then obviously I even put up a mistletoe as soon as you walk in so you know people can kiss super super romantic place you should definitely go here you should definitely download this no i'm just kidding don't download this because it's literally just for farts and giggles and just having fun with it obviously because this totally just takes that you know oh my gosh this has got to be perfect oh my gosh my windows have to be lined oh my gosh i have to have the best wallpaper and the best you know all this that definitely just takes it away and just have fun and just be creative with it it's literally like what it's there for but i certainly had a lot of fun with it and then it hits me i should probably have a place for my elves to actually sleep at or even a place that they can like go to so i actually did use the toddler toilets and they are placed down for them to use and at the toddler beds I placed them down I downsized them to give them like that elf look and then I even downsized a little table for them to go to so that they could do all that and have some place to like eat and drink and you know that whole shebang oh my gosh guys this was just it's literally so freaking cute I love it so 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 thinking much by the time that you guys are watching this obviously Christmas is over but I really really do hope that you guys had an amazing Christmas and for my winners that won the giveaway congrats to you guys oh my gosh that was so much fun we had literally so many people that entered it it was ridiculous I'm actually kind of curious to see how many giveaways I did this year but obviously this is the build and this is how creative I got I know the inside is wonky and crazy and everything else but oh my gosh this is just so much fun I really really did enjoy this so if you guys want to go check her out definitely do so again it's Marion Stone again I had so much fun and this was literally just the quickest thing but I wanted to have a video out for you guys for Sunday just literally telling you guys how much you guys mean to me just know that you guys are not a subscriber you're not a number you guys are like family and friends to me thank you just so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos to comment down below to give me a thumbs up and just be here and just be present just thank you guys just so much for taking the time to do that and I really 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 do appreciate every sinking one of you guys you guys have no idea how much this means to me to have over a thousand people just present and here and subscribing and commenting and liking and <laughs> it still just blows me away so much but thank you guys just so much for all that you do i love you guys so 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 <laughs> so thank you much hope you all had a merry christmas and a very soon to be happy new year and you know what screw 2020 because we are all done with 2020 i think we're all ready to close that book within our lives and set it on fire i think we're all done <laughs> but all right guys i will see you guys in my next video which is tuesday and i hope to see you guys then 
And if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button because there's a lot of you that watch my videos that are not subscribed. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're commenting down below so you can chat with me. I promise I'm super fun and super basic and you'll love to talk to me. And make sure you guys are giving this video some sweet thumbs up. And make sure you go show Marion some love as well if I said your name correctly because I usually don't. But I love you guys and I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Mwah. Bye, friends. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Ta-da. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.